Hello, lovely kids. It's me once again. My name is Auntie Gifty, and I come to you on the Great Victory Land virtual class. Today, we are taking the subject science, and on the science, we're going to study about animals. I believe you've heard and you know a lot of animals, so let's look at some of them. First of all, we are hoping that by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to one, know what animals are, two, know and mention the names of animals, three, describe the basic structure of an animal. We are hoping that by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to one, know what animals are, two, know and mention the names of animals, and then three, describe the basic structure of an animal. So you see, we have a lot to learn today. Now let's carry on. A question to you, what are animals? You might know a lot of animals, you can mention the names of a lot of animals, but what actually is an animal? So what are animals? Do you have any answer? Let's see whether what you have in mind is the same as the answer we have here. Animals are living things that can move freely on their own, find and digest, that is, eat any food of their choice. Animals are living things that can move freely on their own, find and digest, that is, eat any food of their choice. So you see what animals are. They are living things just like you and I. They are able to move freely on their own. They find their own food and they eat what they want. Good. So let's look at what types of animals we have. Now there are different types of animals. They are, we have one, birds two domestic animals three wild animals four fishes five mammals six amphibians and then seven insects one we have birds two we have domestic animals three we have wild animals four fishes mammals five six amphibians and seven insects good let's look at them one after the other birds birds are animals that have feathers beak and wings birds are animals that have feathers beak and wings they lay eggs and most of them can fly they lay eggs and most of them can fly Example of birds are we have turkey, hen, woodpecker, guinea fowl, ostrich, sparrow, eagle. Now this list of animals or birds here, do you know them when you see them? Let's see whether you can. So we have them here. We have the turkey, we have the hen, the woodpecker, guinea fowl, Ostrich, which we all know is the largest bird. And then we have sparrow. So now you can identify them when you see them anywhere. Now let's move on. Now we move on to domestic animals. Domestic animals are animals that live at home with us. I believe at your home you have a little or some few animals living with you there. Those animals are the ones we call domestic animals. So domestic animals are animals that live at home with us. Let's look at an example of them. Examples are one, dog, two, cat, three, pig, four, sheep, five, goat, and six, cow. One dog, two cat, three pig, 
four sheep, five goat, and then six cow. Now let's see whether you can identify them when you see their pictures. Here they are. So we see a dog, a cat, a pig, a sheep, a goat, and a cow. Now I hope you can identify them when you see them. Good. We carry on to wild animals. Wild animals. Wild animals are animals that live in the bush or forest. So wild animals do not live with us at home because they are wild and dangerous. So because of that, they live in the bush or the forest. Let's look at examples of such animals. One, we have panther. We have panther. Two, we have tiger. Tiger. Three, we have kangaroo. Kangaroo. Four, we have zebra. Zebra. Five, we have lion. Lion. Six, we have deer. Deer. Now let's see whether you can identify them when you see them. So this is a panther. This is a tiger. This is a kangaroo, a zebra, a lion, and a deer. So now you know them by faces or by these images. Good. Now we carry on to fishes. Fishes are animals that live in water. Fishes are animals that live in water. They have fins which they use for swimming. They have fins which they use for swimming. They also have gills for breathing. They also have gills for breathing. Let's look at examples of such animals. Examples are one, tuna. Two, salmon. Three, shark. Four, dolphin. Five, whale. Six, cat. Seven, herons. One, we have tuna. Two, we have salmon. Three, we have shark. Four, we have dolphin. Five, we have whale. Six, we have cat. And seven, we have herons. Now let's look at them using these images. So this is a tuna, salmon, a shark, a dolphin, a whale, which is the largest fish in water. We have the catfish and then we have the herons. So now you know them using these pictures. Good. Let's carry on. Move on to mammals. Mammals. A mammal is an animal that breathes air, has a backbone, and grows hair at some point during its life. A mammal is an animal that breathes air, has a backbone, and grows hair at some point during its life. All female mammals give birth to their young ones. All female mammals give birth to their young ones. Now let's look at examples of them. One, we have squirrels. Squirrels. Two, we have elephant. Elephant. Three, we have hyena. Hyena. Four, we have mongoose. Mongoose. Five, we have deer. Deer. Six, we have bat. Bat. And seven, we have bear or bear. Now let's look at the animals using these same images. So this is the squirrel, the elephant, hyena, the mongoose, 
bat and the bear. So now you can identify them when you see them anywhere. Good. Amphibians is the next group of animals. Amphibians. Amphibians are small animals that need water or a moist environment to survive. Amphibians are small animals that need water or a moist environment to survive. They live on land and in water. They live on land and in water. They can breathe and absorb water through their very thin skin. They can breathe and absorb water through their very thin skin. Examples of such animals are 1. Frogs Frogs 2. Toads Toads 3. Salamanders Salamanders Four, we have newt, newt, and then five, we have chysilians, we have chysilians. Now let's look at them using these images. So here is the frog, a toad, frogs and toad almost look alike, almost look alike. So we, this is the frog. And this is the toad. This is the salamander, the newt, and then the chysilian. So now you know them using these images. Good. We carry on to insects. Insects are small animals that have six legs and generally one or two pair of wings. Insects are small animals that have six legs and generally one or two pair of wings. They have a three-part body. That is the head, thorax, and abdomen. That is the head, thorax, and abdomen. Three parts of joint legs, compound eyes, and one pair of antennae. They also have three parts of joint legs, compound eyes, and one pair of antennae. Examples of such insects are beetles, beetles, housefly, housefly, mosquito, mosquito, butterfly, butterfly bees bees so let's look at them using these pictures good so this is the beetle the mosquito the housefly the butterfly and the bee the beetle mosquito housefly butterfly and the bee. So we all know this animal using these images. Good. Now we carry on to the structure of an animal. Now we have an outline image of a tiger. This part of the tiger is the head. This part of the tiger is the head. After the head, the other part of this tiger, this part of the tiger, is the trunk. Is the trunk. And then the ones we call leg are the what? Limbs. They are the what? Limbs. Let's look at the function of these parts. The part and their functions. So we have the head. The head holds the eyes, ears, nose, and mouth of an animal. The head holds the eyes, ears, nose, and mouth of an animal. The trunk. 
The trunk is the central part of an animal. The trunk is the central part of an animal. It holds the neck and the limbs together. It holds the neck and the limbs together. Now we carry on to the limbs. Some animals such as tiger and goats have four limbs, that is the leg, and others like bears have two. Some animals such as tiger and goats have four limbs, that is leg. Others like bears have two. So now you know the types of animals we have, what an, anim what an animal is, and also the parts and their functions. So I have this evaluation exercise here. Do them and then bring them for us to go through and mark. So now underline the correct answer. One, the following are examples of animals except the following are examples of animals except A. Sheep B. Rabbit C. Plantain A. Sheep B. Rabbit C. Plantain 2. Animals have the following parts except Animals have the following parts except A. Leaves B. Trunk C. Limbs a leaves b trunk c limbs three the head holds the dash the head holds the dash a eyes and nose b hair and leg c legs and mouth a eyes and nose b hair and legs c legs and mouth four which of the following parts of animals holds the head and limbs together? Which of the following parts of animals holds the head and limbs together? A. Trunk B. Neck C. Limb A. Trunk B. Neck C. Limb 5. The limbs are also called The limbs are also called a legs b neck c trunk a legs b neck c trunk so i believe you can do this work can you do them and bring them for marking stay safe and have a nice day meet you on another lesson bye